imagine being a 10-year-old football fan and bunking off school <laughs> to go and see one of the most historic matches in England's history. And then this happens. <laughs> Just the sweetest thing. That was England star Mason Mount giving young fan Belle McNally his football shirt following the Three Lions' historic semi final win on Wednesday. Well, Belle joins us now alongside her dad, Tommy, and welcome. Oh, it's, it's so really funny. lovely Have to you see here, you. So, why do Belle? you think he picked you out of all of those people? Um, so, um, when we went to the England versus Croatia game, we actually saw him on the Euros coach and he waved and smiled at me. So, I think maybe he recognised me from there in the game. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. And so when he was sort of walking towards you, because he sort of... He was looking around, wasn't he? Like, he was almost looking for somebody. Maybe he was looking for you. How did you feel when he walked towards you and you, he passed you his shirt? So when he walked towards me, um, at the moment, I thought he was looking a different way, but looking back, he actually looked at me. So at the moment, I didn't think he was going to give it to me, but... He did? When he came, I was just... And how did you feel when you, when you got it? It was so many different emotions because, obviously, as I said, um, I didn't expect it. So it was just happy, I was shocked, so many different emotions mixed, and I just didn't know what to do. So I ran to my dad and started hugging him and crying. I know, we're well, totally overwhelming. And also, all the supporters around you, I mean, everybody would have, you know, to get that shirt in that moment was yeah. just incredible. But it was yours. And how did they all react to you? Were they all, like, high-fiving you? Yeah. Many people came up to me and high-fived me as I was trying to walk back up the stairs. That's amazing. And is that is that it? Yeah, this That's is the one. Oh, Let's oh, have open a look. Open that out. Let's have a look. Oh, my I mean, goodness that is me. a bit of history right there, isn't it? What are you going to do with it? You're going to have it framed and put on your wall? Yeah, I'm probably going to have it framed and put it on my wall in my bedroom. Yeah. Because you play, don't you? Yeah. Do. And so, uh, who do you play for? I play for Glee Blind Under 10s. Are you striker? Yes. Yeah, what's your nickname? Um, Mini Messi. Mini Messi, yeah, you obviously a very good player. And Dad, for you, I mean, this is a lovely thing to be able to share with your daughter. She loves football, to take her to go and see these incredible moments in footballing history, really, especially when it's going so well like this. I mean, how did you feel in that moment when it happened? Um, like, I, I love football, right, from a young age, so I have a passion and my wife doesn't love football at all and I thought Belle might follow her path, so slowly I've introduced little bits of football and... She's just falling in love with football. So for me, as a father, to see that happen is just a dream come true. Like, yeah. it was just, it's just been, honestly, just the greatest day you can imagine. <laughs> and you, because um, you saw the Croatia match as well, as well, didn't you? So Yeah, like Belle said, we was, we was on the motorway and the police blockaded the whole motorway and we saw the England bus and we drove alongside it and it was like her first football game ever. And to see the coach and the, she said she saw Mason wave yeah. at her. And, and that sort of moment there, so a really great romantic story to first game to now this happening and yeah. it's just been like a, a book or a film. It's just, I know, it really is. Up. So, I guess, Sunday, where will you be watching it? Have you got tickets or are you hoping...? Well, it's not... I've got three children, so Belle, it's not Belle's turn, it's the youngest turn, so she won't, unfortunately, be able to go... Oh, Belle! She... Listen, you can't top that moment you had. It's probably better that you don't. That's it. That's captured in your memory fair. Although, we might be able to go... Not, not one better, but get close to making today pretty special as well because he sent you a message. Hi Belle, it's Mason here. Um, I just wanted to do this message to you and say how special the reaction was after the game when I give you my shirt. It's obviously we won the game and that was a, a big achievement but that really topped it off for me um, and made it even a special night for me. Um, yeah, thank you for all your support. It uh, really means a lot and hopefully see you Sunday. <laughs> How's that? How about that? That's pretty amazing, isn't it? Yeah? yeah. Don't cry again. <laughs> no, you can't cry. They're happy tears. We like happy tears. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's nice. That's We oh, like darling. happy tears. We oh, like those. I mean, it is so special, isn't it? Because they're heroes. <laughs> yeah, they are, they are, are heroes. heroes. Heroes to so many kids oh. like Belle, inspiring you, yeah. inspiring for the future. Those are, those are happy tears, aren't they? <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Oh, sweet. Thank, so, um... thank you so much, Mason. Honestly, I just want to thank him for that. Um, we can't... He, he, well, he, can't put into words what he's done for her. Thank you. He's such a nice man.
Yeah, that's lovely. <laughs> oh, Belle. That really is. And, um, and Belle, so, you know, that's... Uh, did you bunk off school for, <laughs> for today as well? Yeah. So that's today, that's the foot... What about Croatia? What day was that? Um, that was on the weekend. Right, so oh, that was OK. Right. Yeah. And are school OK with this? Because, I mean, it's not as if they don't know where you are. <laughs> Yeah, they're fine. She did, they're give fine. The, she did give the game away before the game because she gave an interview on ITV News and she said, don't tell Farnborough School. <laughs> <laughs> she actually named the school. She hasn't been to school since. No. Well, these are life experiences. Exactly. Really. I think you learned a lot and more it's, from uh, this. It's lovely to see you. Well done. Well done, you. Well done, my well guys. Well, Belle isn't the only one whose uh, life has been changed because of the football. <laughs> Incredible. Next guest can't even walk down the street without being <laughs> hounded by England fans, and, and you can see why. Well, meet Neil Rowe, who is Gareth Southgate's <laughs> doppelganger. Hello. That is hilarious. That must feel so good in that moment. It, it? it is quite a rush, yeah, when you've got the crowd there singing the song, the Atomic Kitten song that's been popular at the moment, and all these random people lifting me on their shoulders, and, and it's, it's quite a buzz. Oh, my God, that's So, so when, when did it first start for you? Uh, it was back in the, the mid-'90s when he was a young player for Crystal Palace then, and my mate said, blimey, it's your doppelganger. And then, of course, Euro 96 happened then and the yeah. penalties drama. And then suddenly I was getting school kids asking me to autograph their napkins at McDonald's after that. And you said to them, it's, uh, no, no, it's not, not him, not him, and then, and then thought, oh, to hell with it, and signed him I anyway. I maybe pretended it was, I was him. <laughs> it would be fun. I mean, I don't think their napkins will be worth much these days, but, yeah, it's a shame for that. But so, I mean, this has got quite extreme, though. So this is people recognising you and taking a double glance. But when you were in Russia, yes. just like, tell us what happened there. Well, I mean, after I spoke with you in Russia, I went there and went to Red Square yeah, wearing the right. waistcoat uh, again. And all the international fans and the TV cameras it just went bonkers there. And I think quite a lot of them thought I was the real guy. And in the end, the tourist police had to escort me off because they were fearing for my safety. So it was getting a bit out of hand. Oh, my God. <laughs> and how, how do you think this tournament compares to 2018? Oh, well, that, that was a, a great buzz because it was completely unexpected that we got the semi final. We had a bit more expectation here, but the, the way the team have developed through it, yeah. and, and now the country, you can get to watch the team at home as well now with 60,000 of us in the stadium and then everyone watching it's on telly. Yeah, it's great. And you're a pilot? Yes. Which is fantastic because <laughs> when you sit there in the cockpit, maybe occasionally when the plane is on the ground with the doors open and people are allowed to actually travel and get on the plane and look into the cockpit, they're going to think, Gareth Southgate's flying this plane. <laughs> <laughs> the man is... A, he's truly a hero. He's he can do anything. Yeah. <laughs> you, should, you should actually be flying the England plane, shouldn't you? That oh, seems I'd about right. To. Well, I've flown some of the England cricket and rugby teams, so, yeah, sure. Oh, I just come need the football on. team to tick it's the box. That really so, would be yes, something else. Come on if you're listening. So, yeah. listen, as we have sort of Gareth Southgate here, uh, we should ask you about Sunday's game. Are you feeling confident? And can you give us a little score prediction? Uh, well, I'm quietly confident. Obviously, the Italians are a great side, but I think it's going to be KJ. We're going to nick it 2-1, and, of course, I think it's coming home, isn't it's it? Coming it's coming home, it's coming home. It's coming home. Belle, what do you home. think? Um, I think 2 1 to England. Too. You think 2 1 as well? Oh, so 2 1. Dad, okay. what do you think? 18 0. <laughs> <laughs> I'm with you. I'm with There's you. no sen sensible scores are out the window, it's all going crazy. Yeah, yeah. Quite right, quite right. Thank you both. Thank you, you all of you.